You're talking about fast times at Ridgemont High? <laughs> you asked this question at such a good time. <laughs> so what... Okay, so, so the, the question is uh, about the film Fast Times at Ridgemont High uh, and uh, what, what it was like behind the scenes in, in making that movie. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you one story rather than all of that, okay? <laughs> uh, so, when I, you know, some people don't know because it's, you know, in, in, a, in a certain sense it's a fluffy movie, but it certainly made its mark at that time. And, but it had been based on a book, which was written by Cameron Crowe, who looked much, you know, we know, most of us know the story he wrote of Almost Famous, as he was a writer for Rolling Stone at a very young age. And... And, and Cameron continues to this day to look very young com relative to his years. And, and so when he was in his 20s and still writing for Rolling Stone, he, he, he went undercover and lived a, a semester at a high school to write this book. And, and he took a character, uh, uh, the, one of the people, and, and created this character, Jeff Spicoli. Now I'm going to say it again. Jeff, one syllable, Spicoli. Right? And Italian, evidently. <laughs> Which is not the first place you'd normally think to go on a California surfer. But clearly it was based on somebody he'd met at that school. Now, I had a guy in my neighborhood whose name I'm not going to say, but one plus three in Italian. So when I, who was exactly what I thought I was reading on the page, I knew that guy. I thought, because that guy, if you met him today, would be completely lost, right? <laughs> and two weeks ago, I was coming up from the beach surfing, because there's been a lot of good surf out in California, and I, I grew up surfing. And my son and I were coming up the trail from the beach, and this gentleman about my age was walking down with his wife and children. He said, Sean, how are you? And I said, I'm fine. I, I, he says, it's blank, blank. I had never known him to speak my name in less than five unintelligible syllables. <laughs> in the early 70s, when I grew up around him. And it was the guy that I based entirely the character on. And let me tell you that Jeff Spicoli is alive and well and doing and has very healthy children. Yeah.